Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte. And today we are gonna be installing the Carismo carbon steering wheel on my G80 M3. All right, let's get it. All right, everyone. So this is the box that the Carismo steering wheel came in. Came in very nice packaging. Um, as you guys can see right there, the packaging on it is super, super nice. Um, very good quality packaging. Um, then you open it up right there, as you guys can see, and carbon we trust. So I've already opened this to kind of see what it looks like. So that's why it looks kind of open. But um, so I've got the box open here. It comes in this very nice protective little cover, um, cardboard cover here. And then you got this steering wheel, which comes with this nice, looks like, feels like a little suede cover that you, that you get with the wheel comes in too. So it looks very, very nice. All right. So. This is the cover that the wheel comes with. Um, looks very nice, feels pretty good. Covers the wheel fully. I've already kind of opened this, so you may see it's a little bulging out here, because I already kind of looked at the wheel so I could make sure it was good, and it is good. All right, so go ahead and take this cover off here. And they do send the core and everything with it. And then it comes with this styrofoam packaging, as you guys can see right here. So we'll take that off, let y'all get a good look at the wheel. So this is the wheel that I went with, with from Carismo. So you can see it's got the orange stripe, which is right there, full carbon. It's got the perforated leather, carbon, leather, carbon, leather. So I wanted leather and carbon and not Alcantara. Um, my hands can be a little grimy at times. So I was like, Alcantara probably wouldn't be the best for me. So that's why I want the, the perforated leather and the carbon combo. It's got the orange stitching, as you guys can kind of see right there. Orange stitching looks very, very good on the wheel. Kind of continues down there. Flat bottom, it's kind of a hexagonal design. They say they were inspired by some of the Lamborghini wheels that they were doing to kind of bring that design over to the G80 and the G8X cars. So it's kind of why I went, was kind of the reason why I went with this because it was different. Um, and a lot, not a lot of people have been using this brand. So I wanted to try them out, you know, give them a shot. So it's the back of the wheel. Everything looks quality. Looks like an OEM core. So we're gonna be putting this on today. All right, so one of the first things you need to do is disconnect your battery terminal. So it's gonna be underneath the rear of the car here. So if you go underneath here, then you can kind of see that little, gotta disconnect that one right there because you don't want the power on because you gotta take the airbag off and you don't want the airbag to pop off in your face. So go ahead and take that off. Should be a 10 millimeter, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. So 10 millimeter, get that off. And then also want to make sure to put down maybe microfiber cloth right here on your trunk because you don't want that to close and then you'd be locked out of your trunk, all right? All right, so after you get the battery terminal disconnected in the back, what we're going to have to do is get the actually pop off this actual airbag, which is right here. So in order to do that, you have to get maybe like a long flathead, maybe something with a nice little edge on it. And we're going to have to, there's going to be two little slots here. Now, if your car is brand new, or has not, or doesn't have never had the airbag or anything taken off, you're gonna have to puncture the leather. I know that's painful, but you will have to do that in order to get on a new steering wheel or anything like that. So you will, so you will have to puncture the leather in order to get the airbag off. Now there will be two indentions right, right over here, right over here by the bottom of the uh, shift paddle. So that'll be kind of like your points right there. So you will need to uh, puncture the leather in order to get. Um, the airbag off. So that's what I'm about to do right now. All right, and just to show you, just to show you guys where the hole's at, there's one right here that I had to make. There was an indention there. And then you can see my screwdriver on the other side is in the other hole. And then if you kind of pay attention to what's going on now, I should be able to pull that right out. All right, so what you're gonna have to do next is disconnect the airbag, which is right here from these plugs. So you can be able to get like a little flat head that you use to here to be able to get in here and uh, pretty much push down on that, get these plugs out the way. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, push down on that and get these plugs out the way. So the next step, once we get the airbag plugs out, 
you're gonna have this plug which is right here and also this plug which is right there so what you're gonna have to do is just pull those out now you can just give it a good snug as I kind of show you here boom comes right out same way with this one here give it a good pull boom now that both of those are out we're gonna have to take off this so you probably have to use a breaker bar or um, I think it's a 16 millimeter use a breaker bar to kind of break it loose and then you can kind of get it off from there all right so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now all right everyone so I had to bring out the actual torque wrench um, put it up to almost about right at 90 pounds and was able to break this loose man this thing is up was up here tight just really depends on how much Loctite and how much um, how tight it's put on from the factory but was able to get it loose so now I'm just gonna use my socket just to get it the rest of the way loose because I am able to turn it at this point all right so I pulled it about almost all the way out so I just want to so usually what I do is I don't take the bolt all the way off. I get almost all the way off and then I pull the wheel towards me so I can make sure that um, I don't yank anything from behind or anything like that. So now that the wheel is pretty much loose, I'll go ahead and take the rest of the bolt off. All right, and the bolt is off. As you can see, look off. You can kind of see right there all that Loctite they put on, man. That stuff was tough to get off. Put that down in there. Now the steering wheel is off. Now it's time for the next step of transferring all these items to the new wheel. All right, so now that the steering wheel is off, we need to go ahead and first start with taking off the shifter, the um, shift paddles here. So what you're going to do in order to do that is you see this blue um, little plug right here you're going to kind of pull up on it take it out of the way and then you should see a t20 let me brighten it up a little bit you should see a t20 right there and that's how you're going to take off the shift paddles from the back so i'm going to go ahead and do now all right so that is loose that is off let's see if i can get that screw out all right so that screw is out and then if you turn it around here, you can see the paddle is kind of hanging here. So what, you, what you'll have to do is disconnect this blue part from the main part there, disconnect that, and then you'll be good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the other side. I'm gonna do that off camera since I already showed you guys how to do it. All right, everyone. So now that we got the actual shift paddles out, we're gonna work on taking this back plate off. So first thing first, these are T20s. You got one here and one here. So you wanna take those T20s off. And you may have one down here. I think if you have the heated steering wheel, you may have an additional screw down here. Or if you're doing this on like an M5 or X5M, I think their steering wheel is a little bit bigger. So they have another um, screw down here. All right, so now that we got those screws off, we're gonna turn it around here. Now, once we have it turned around right here, as you guys can see, we're gonna work on taking off the center trim. So, as you can kind of see, I kind of already got it halfway popped off right here, but I just wanna show you. So there is some glue right here on these clips right here. So you kind of have to use like a pick tool, get in there, kind of wedge it up, and then you'll be able to wedge it straight up like that. And then once you do that, you'll need to do the same on this side. You just can kind of just pop it up. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Because that, that just pops up. And then you just kind of want to. Kind of just want to pop this up. You can kind of grab it. Pop that up. Then the same thing on the side over here. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm back. And I figured out how to get this part off. So as you see right here. I want you guys to see that. That was what was sticking in the bottom of the wheel right there that was giving me a little bit of issue. There is a little bit of glue and stuff there. So what I did was found me a trim tool, got around the edge, got to about right there and kind of just pushed up on it until it actually popped right off. So now it popped right off. So now we're good to go. There is this plug that's connected right here. Just gonna remove that and then you'll be able to get the face plate right off.
All right, so the next thing we gotta do is take off the M1 and M2 buttons. So you're gonna have a bolt right here and a bolt right here. They're both T20s. So you'll just unscrew those to get the M1 and M2 buttons off. All right, so you'll loosen it on that side. Do the other side now. All right, so now that we have the M1 and M2, this whole top piece right here just kind of comes can come with it. So you can kind of do that. And then we'll go ahead and pick up the rest of these pieces. So you want to kind of take everything with it there. So the key is to take apart only what you need to take apart and bring and keep the rest intact. So you don't have to kind of memorize or have photo take a photo. Remember how all this goes in there. All right. So what we're going to do is just take all this up, figure out a way to get this out, keep it all intact so I can bring it over. All right. All right, everyone. So to take this back and plate off, this is right here, a T25. So once you take that off, as you see, everything is kind of lifting with it. So once you take this back plate off, you'll be able to get access to remove this plastic little guide piece right here and everything. So you'll be able to remove everything. And this is a T25 versus the T20s we've been working with. So once you take that off, you'll be able to lift that up and then that will take be able to give you access to remove the rest of the guts and the interior as you see right there. All right, everyone, so I want to show this on camera. So I just used a flathead screwdriver to get underneath these plastic pieces. And as you can see right here, they just have these little divots that goes into the soft part right here. So you just kind of get underneath them and pop it up and then everything comes off. So that's how you get everything off here. So now we are done with the stock steering wheel. So you can say goodbye to it. And let's go ahead and get to putting all this stuff on the aftermarket Carismo steering wheel. So this is all the remaining parts here that came off the stock wheel. To save time, I'm gonna go ahead and do all this off camera and bring it back. Um, you pretty much do the opposite of everything you just did. I'm running a little bit low on time now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do all this right now. And then once I come back, the steering wheel will be together, all right? All right, everyone, so the wheel is back together. And look at this, man. Look at this carbon, man. Everything looks good, fit and finish is really good. Matches the carbon weave. Still got the, all your functionality and just even more carbon. These grips right here feel really good. Deep grooves for your thumbs. Hexagonal design and the orange really matches with the interior and the orange, um, and the orange stitching on the side there. So man, this thing looks good. Now it's time to put it back in the car and make sure everything works. All right, everyone. So you can see right here, the wheel is back in. This is kind of what it looks like in the cabin. Looks really good. I like the way it looks, like the way it feels. It gives me a little extra room getting in and out with the design of it. And you can definitely tell it's a little bit smaller. Um, it's not as bulky, but feels good. It gets the job done, all right? So now let's go ahead and put the airbag back on as you see i got the clips in right there airbag clip goes right there then it goes right on top of this and we'll be good to go all right all right everyone so that's what it looks like with the actual airbag back in everything looks good man look at it look at it everything looks good carbon is always one of those things it's just like yeah you, people say you you can man maybe you got too much carbon i don't know about that i don't know if you can have enough I got some more carbon coming, man. I hope y'all ready for this carbon invasion on this car. But we're gonna be getting a lot of carbon coming in here soon. Um, some for the outside, maybe some for the inside too. So definitely stay tuned. Definitely this wheel by Carismo looks really, really good. They did a really good job. Kind of zoom in, get y'all some close-ups there. Everything looks good, fit and finish. How everything fits, perfect good you can kind of see there's no gaps anything like that everything fits oem style man so we'll see how this wheel holds up but right now man i am satisfied with it all right everyone so y'all seen the wheel y'all seen the cinematics i'm really really liking the wheel the wheel is a little bit smaller than oem but it feels good you can definitely tell the size difference from grabbing it 
and just you know maneuvering with it versus the stock wheel it really looks good though um fit and finish it's really good again special shout out to carismo um i'll be linking their information down below you do have to contact them on instagram right now they said they're working on revamping their webpage. so for right now if you are interested in one of these um they are you do have to contact them on instagram all right so prices for these are starting around about i think around about 1200 so and up depending on how you want to spec it and how you want to build it so definitely good good quality and good good piece of artwork um to add into the interior man so man yeah y'all guys can see it right there looks really good so that's gonna be today's video i'm gonna go ahead and end it with that if you like this video, if you like the wheel, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. My goal is to hit 10K subscribers by the end of the year, man. So I can't do that without you guys' support. So keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep hitting that like button and promote the videos anywhere you can, all right? So that's going to be today's video, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.